Walter, I found you. I came across your name when a friend looked into our family history. Private Walter Unwin, regiment number 7444. I've tried to find your story, but as with many unsung heroes from your time, I'm ashamed to say that a lot of those records are gone. I've found what I can from books and articles, and pieced together a timeline, and where you would have been, and when. So here goes. As part of the North Staffordshire 1st Battalion, you set sail for war in September to much fanfare from the local villages in Ireland, hitting the shores of saint Nazaire in France in 1914. The battalion took part in many skirmishes straight away, taking ground in outer steam and steam work among others, earning the praise from the Brigadier General Doran, commenting, I feel I can always put the North Staffords in the tightest of corners, and they will always come out with credit to themselves. December saw you take over the trenches of Rue de Bois, known as Dead Man's Alley. Conditions were torrid, rainy, and the trenches contained up to four feet of water. At Christmas that year you took part in the Christmas truce, conversing with German soldiers in no man's land by singing hymns and posing for photographs before a renewal of hostilities the next day. In March 1915, the battalion seized the hamlet of Le Pinet with little preparation or rehearsal and repelled two counter-attacks that followed. The battalion merged with the 24th Division in October 1915, where he would remain for the rest of the war. General Congreve, a great and loved leader of your division, was sad to see you go and left with the parting words, a merry heart goes all the way, a sad one tires in a mile. In April and June 1916, you survived two gas attacks in the trenches near Messines, where you lost over 500 of your division. This would be your introduction to the inhumanities the enemy was willing to go to to win the war. In August, you participated in the Battle of the Somme. The battalion was engaged in the fighting around Guillemont in the Valley of Death, and later the defence of Delville Wood, a landscape that changed hour by hour from constant shelling. And it was said that air and food reeked of decay. The battalion took part in the initial assault of the Battle of Passchendaele. The objectives were to capture the German frontline trench called Jehovah Trench, the second line trench called Jordan Trench, and the remains of Bulger Wood. The battalion managed to capture both the trenches and a platoon reached Bulger Wood before being forced to retreat. You dug in on the Jehovah Trench line having lost almost 50% of the battalion strength. On 21st of March 1918, the battalion was in the front line trenches near St Quentin when the German army launched Operation Michael, the opening attack in their spring offensive. The Allied defence was too thin and too stretched out and the battalion was virtually wiped out. It was said most put up a gallant defence before being overwhelmed by superior numbers. Many acts of heroism were performed without a chance of recognition and many refused to surrender. Having survived so much, for just months until the end of the war itself, this would be a battle too many and the end to your part in the war. German offensive had shattered the North Staffordshire 1st Battalion, and it was never quite the same again. The few numbers that remained had enough for a company, and carried on until the war ended. I've been afraid before, but nothing in my life can compare to what you would have had to go through, living hour to hour and battle by battle, never knowing if you would get home to your wife Catherine again. She, like many, would wait hoping the dreaded telegram of bad news would never be received. I'm sad that I have found no photos of you. It's hard to picture someone like you. I'm sorry it's taken a hundred years to get your story out there, but it is now. There will be millions of other soldiers out there who will have similar stories that may never be known. I hope one day they will get their chance. <laughs>